guys, I'm here at the DIMA 2023 in New Orleans with my sponsor Bonassi because I want to show you the products that I like the most uh, from the DIMA. Of course, I'm not going to show you every single booth because we need six hours. I'm just going to show you the things that I really got impressed with. Now, first of all, I want to present our booth from Bonassi. Here in this place, for example, are the regulators that I use during my world record. And uh, basically, Bonassi as a brand does recreation and equipment, but it was perfect for the what I did because I just use a, one of the free diving suits and uh, the regulators are actually uh, balanced diaphragm. Fantastic performance. It was a great opportunity and I really want to thank them because if I'm here today, it's because of them. Now, that said, the boot next to us actually has some very, very cool stuff that I want to show you. So, I'm here with uh, Luis from uh, Dive Vault, and basically, what they do is they produce housing for the iPhone and uh, uh, and also for the Android, yes, because I have an Android and uh, I'm gonna use it with my phone. Because uh, Luis, you wanna show me the one? Uh, this is the one that Luis decided to give me. I didn't threaten him. It's just it's very nice that they said to give it to me. Because basically, I wanna use it during my cave dives and uh, um, confined water training. Uh, I don't really think I'm gonna make watch videos doing the compression or taking pictures of fishes. That's not much what I do. But I wanna use it in a different way. So we wanna find different applications and uh, maybe I'm gonna make a YouTube video about how these things react in the environment where I want to use it. Um, Luis, you wanna tell us uh, where do you come from? Where, where are you based? And uh, where do you uh, distribute your products? Yes, uh, Divo is our brand. We are based in China. So uh, this is the idea that uh, different from the other housing on the markets. So our, we have a patent on this membrane, we call it underwater touchscreen membrane, that allows the user to touchscreen under the water. So we can access all the function in the phone. So that's why we can use sure. any of the apps in the, in the phone. And Using all the apps is one of the things I'm interested in too, by the way. And then we can do... We can do also, we can do photograph or video as well. Sure. Because there's a soft screen, but it's uh, filled up with a liquid, so basically it resists uh, a certain amount of pressure. Luis, can you remind me how deep this thing can go? 60 meters. 60 meters, okay. Should be enough for confined water and cave dives in Mexico, by the way. Yeah. And would you like to have a look at the ocean kit? Now, this is the kit they're going to give me. And here, guys, we have the box uh, that contains the... I'm trying to put it out without dropping it, like, you know, when people with the iPhone and they drop it on the floor. Yeah. So, the, uh, what I was really, I was not expecting it, but it's really awesome. There is, together with the... Wide angle lens? See. Wide angle lens. There is the fish eye lens that comes with the phone um, housing, and also the, the mount. If you want to put video lights or a tripod, they're gonna give me a mount for it. And also there, is there is a mount for it included, sorry, that's what I meant. And then there is also the red filter for the ocean video or photo. Uh, nice, see, red filter. Uh. Let's see how it's gonna react in the caves, eh? Water is super transparent, mm -hmm. so fresh water. For key diving. Yeah. I, exactly, exactly, especially if I use it shallow. And there are also a bunch of spare parts uh, in case you get low, you, you lose some of the bits. All right, thank you, Luis. Thank you. Uh, I will let you know how it goes, yeah? yeah. I'm gonna try it underwater, I'm gonna make some videos, yes. yeah? Ah, by the way, they also give you a fake phone because like this, you can try it diving the first time. You don't wanna put your phone in the water. You can just go with it fake phone that fills the volume inside the housing and you can also try to sell the fake phones to your friends if you want anyway. <laughs> all right thank you Luis thank you I'll see you later again see yeah you. all right yeah. the next thing I want to show you is that the boot of Isotta they make wonderful housing for cameras but the one that I'm really impressed with is this one the GoPro is what I use to film my, most of my videos, especially when I'm filming myself. Their housing for the GoPro, it's super small. 
because uh, here I am with Elisa, uh, one of the head of the company. Please, Elisa, can you just remind me what's the maximum depth of this housing? Yes, of course, 200 meters. 200 meters. Now, all the housing I saw for GoPros that they can go for deeper than 100 meters, they are huge. Almost of this size. Sorry, I take this one because it's not the. Not in a, they are almost of this size, the housing for the GoPro for deep diving. So, having something like this to go to 200 meters already makes me think, okay, so if I want to film one of my trimix dives instead of just the shallow case at uh, 6 meters, where of course you can just use the standard uh, plastic housing from GoPro, this thing is great because it's super small. Imagine also, of course, if you remove the all the support handles and you just have this one it's super compact and you can bring it down attached on your butt rings way more comfortable than having a giant thing especially if the main goal of the dive is not videography but just filming something about yourself so a very great thing uh, yesterday was so nice to show me all the details about it so i want to thank you for the time you dedicated me yesterday and uh, your kind and also today and uh, we can keep going Okay, now come with me, guys. I show you another couple of products that are, are around here. You can get lost here. To be honest, I feel like a kid who lost the parents in the supermarket, and uh, I have to look up to see where I have to go. But we can do it. The next boot is Ocean Reef, and the reason why I want you to meet the Ocean Reef guys is because I used to be. Um, integrated diving mask instructors. Uh, I used to teach uh, full face masks in Mexico um, before to start to go into teaching technical uh, cave diving. But I also did some decompression diving with this mask. Uh, I was teaching the underwater communication. They are good for recreational purposes, uh, for recreational diving, but also they have a application in uh, commercial diving. So now I want you to meet one of the guys over here. Here I want to introduce you to Federico. Nice How to are meet you, today? you Federico. Very fun. And uh, he can tell us about their uh, last model, uh, a couple of information, because uh, as I told you, I'm really happy to give a shout out to Ocean Reef. This is our newest model of uh, full face mask. It's uh, really comfortable and easy to use full face mask. Uh, basically, the benefit of full face mask is that you can dive safe because you, you don't have you don't risk to lose your second stage and you don't have also jaw fatigue because you don't have to bite nothing and also it keeps your face warm uh, because it's a, a physical barrier a real, a real uh, face shield uh, also the benefit of full face mask is your mouth is free so you can if you want you can add a communication unit i can show you right here see let's go die i was using the communication units also talking from the surface with the boat this is the GSM Mercury communication unit. It's a really smart piece of equipment. Yeah, once you mount and you assemble, you don't have to disassemble or you can, you can pack it like yeah, it is. Easy packing, Same. so for storage, for carrying uh, with you, it's really simple push to talk button. You can adjust volume. You can also switch to channel two if we want to have private conversation on a separate channel. We are a See, group of divers. I remember this feature. I think it was also in the previous one, but the communication unit was a little bit bulkier. Yeah. And this one is more compact than the one I used to yeah. dive with a few years ago. And the clarity of the communication is really outstanding. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing is that it's not one-on-one -on -one communication, but you can talk with multiple Same. divers. And then, if you want, you can also have communication with surface. So. I can push the talk okay. with surface. I can always hear the... This is the deep in transmitter, no? The one that yes. goes down from the boat. Yeah, exactly. It's always wireless. This is the antenna. Um, and it's 200 meters... Uh, uh, the, range. The, yeah, the range of the communication. So it's... Uh, yeah, for sexual rescue, public safety divers as well. No, and Something and, like this. Usually, maybe you don't use it if you want to go diving in a reef. But if you have some work to do underwater, exactly. then it makes exactly. sense. Uh, then, right. if you want, you can also add... Lights. I used yes. to have the lights. I, I used to have the lights in my mask. It was awesome. I also have the graduated lenses in the mask because otherwise I don't see anything. Yes. And it doesn't fog up. The fact it doesn't fog up is also awesome. The lens is really smart. And the, the nice things about the optical lens is that you basically install in see. the in the inside the frame yeah. of the mask. And uh, if you want, when you came in the boat, you, you can, can still use them, no? Yeah. You can install this. 
Uh, let me see the right direction. Okay, and you can have a second pair of uh, lens. So you know, in the boat, maybe uh, it may help. You don't want to use your expensive. Uh, lens. Yeah, I usually use my dive mask because I have the right lens. If I want to see something at the surface, so, because my glasses, I leave them on the car. So and you I'm can use know. your this lens that can uh, fit. Yeah, in that's your mask. nice. The and one, also, the one I used before, uh, the first generation didn't have the, didn't have this, and now it is a very good upgrade. Let me show a nice feature that come with the mask. This is the hot doffing handle that see. let you doff the mask with one end. With one end, ah, yeah. I can see, show see, you. See. I will don my mask. I was doing like this with two hands. This is one and only. Yeah. Very nice. It's really See. smart. Because what before when I wanted to do women, I have to pull first one and yes. then the other. And you can do it with them, but you have to do first one and the other. With this one, you can and do it's really the simple and smart if yes. you need to bail out or if you See, need, See, See. Or simply when you get out of the water, you have your mask in your hands. And honestly, one of the best features that I always uh, thought is really great is the surface valve that allows you to breathe the atmosphere right. and the surface instead of... Uh, using the tank, the regulator, and you can also talk, like, because if you don't use the water communication of the surface, but you have to talk to your bodies, with this open, of course, it's a little bit like this, but you can still talk, rather, and if it is closed, the, the sound stays inside, so it's a nice feature, actually. You're right. By opening this, you avoid high tank consumption, and uh, the nice thing is, is about this uh, surface air valve, now it's new design, so it's better grasping, but Doesn't not only undone. not only this, yeah. We insert a membrane inside, so if you forget open this, uh, you don't have air leak, uh, water leaking inside, but you see only some bubbles. I Maybe see. at the end of the dive, you realize, oh, it was open and you close it. Okay. And it's really, really see, cool. like the first bubble on the second stage. Yeah, the, the second stage is completely new. It's vertical ah, body balance second stage. It's cold water certified, and this allows us to make also the, the field of vision wider. Uh, yeah. the, also, the benefit of a full face mask is that you cannot fog. See, 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 see. Because that was cool. the, the air yeah. from the tank, the fresh air, air passes through the visor, it's and dry. then you, you, you breathe in this or in a So you, you basically you don't have to spit a stupid amount of saliva in the mask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. So it saves you also from the hydration. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much, Federico, you're welcome. for uh, you're your welcome. time. And uh, now we keep going, and maybe we get to steal some items as well when we walk, okay? Bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs> So guys, here we are with uh, James Parker from uh, Seacraft and uh, he's gonna show us uh, uh, their DPVs and the reason why I'm attracted to this uh, particular one is because uh, it's super easy to unplug the propeller if it gets caught in lines and also because, look, I just made a record about swimming. I just made a record swimming. But doesn't mean I want to swim for the rest of my life, okay? I just want to be able that if the scooter fails, I can keep swimming and get out of the cave. That's what I was speaking yesterday with James about that. But anyway, they are very nice scooters, and I, want, I would like James to tell us a little bit more about it. Good morning. How are you? Congratulations on your terrific. Uh, for my terrific achievement. Yeah, no, well, anyway, I know. Everybody is so excited about this, I don't even use to that, to be honest. Uh, but thank you. Thank you. Uh, said by you, matter. Uh, so, James, please, I'm sure there are more things you can explain than me about this uh, DPD. Well, welcome to Seacraft. You know, it's meant for exploration, very widely used in cave diving, and uh, which I mean, is also has a lot of experience at. It is a very dependable deep diving, also. Has a world record for 1,038 feet of depth in the air. Wow. So therefore it can go deep. You didn't second. tell me this yesterday. This is so, so much. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. As well as being <laughs> dependable. It's the Fantastic. only DPD with a uh, external motor. So it's, it's worth demonstrating because this device here ah, removes see. all torque. This is what you showed me yesterday. Yeah, yeah it doesn't spin on itself. It's no. fixed, but it water go hydrodynamic so when water comes off the top it straightens it out and it all right. thrust it takes away torque so you can steer a sea craft with two fingers uh, okay okay and it will track very straight but the big thing is if you should follow the prop with cave line or, or something from the ocean that's what we showed me yesterday the motor is totally Same. exposed it's uh, external there's no drive shaft 
There's no bearings, there's no mechanical seal to leak. So the only thing inside a sea craft is the battery. Yeah, okay. Which is lithium ion. In this case, it's a two kilowatt battery, 2001. So it's a very simple but dependable device, and if you're in the exploration business, dependability is, of course, the primary important thing, right? Well, I'm not really expert about DPVs, that's also I prefer you to talk about it, and also you were explaining a bunch of things yesterday, and uh, for me, like, the main thing that we can remove it. And also, to be honest, that there is already an integrated screen and the DPV about the battery and, and all the other data, it's, it's, it's very cool, to be honest. And when you're using it, the diver, while he's underwater, would like to know what's going on Safe. with the unit. So if you squeeze these triggers, you can see a whole screen. Ah, okay. So it gives you your watts. So if you have something that may be consuming current, you know, maybe something got wrapped around the prop, you see more resistance, the more effort being drawn, you can fix it. Some of my divers actually use the, your DPVs during my record on some of my support divers. That's right. So actually appears already in, in the, in the Which I was very happy to see. You were very, yeah, yeah, you told me. <laughs> you told me yesterday. Okay. Well, and, and another benefit is we can use the internal battery to power external devices. So if you're really doing your long penetration dive in okay. very cold water and you had a heated suit, you could power it with the battery. All right. Rather than carry extra batteries. Okay. Well, I used to have, for example, a heating vest with two big batteries that they say under the suit and are heating against my my ribs, and I hated that. And well, that would be. And it was just only three hours. And three hours for is nothing. Sounds a lot, but three hours is nothing. So look at the brightness of these lights powered by the. the They're super small. And these also are, uh, these are power powered uh, from the battery as well. I see. Like it would be a heated suit. You can also I see. You know, run the lights, also run the heated suit. So you can, it's so 170 watts of output. So anyway, this is a technical feature, but very important if you want to power something extra. I see. And see, see, very nice, of course. Or I can also put a primary light or whatever you want to use as a backup. But, or for example, I was using two primary lights during my dive. Instead of, because I cannot bring 55 small backup lights. I mean, I had three of them, but also had two primary lights. And uh, I was thinking, should they put the other primary light on a stage tank or something? But a DPV can be also uh, used as a uh, as a little shopping cart. I can put a lot of stuff. You can so put a rail on it here, and put some. See, this is the military version, no? The configuration. That is uh, also a civilian cave. We'll take off the. Uh, this is a navigator. So this device, you can take your stage bottle, your bailout, put it on here, strap it on, put your lunch, whatever it might, yeah. you might need, or your big camelback, you are doing 10 hours, you got a drink, see. right? So this, uh, and this device, if you get into a restriction in a cave... You can, uh, we can remove it, you showed me yesterday. Yeah. Super easy to remove underwater, that's the thing, no? Put the other one behind you, turn it, so you have yeah. redundancy, and then put back together after you see. clear the restriction. I'm also used to stay, to, to leave equipment on the line, not just the stage. Even cameras or whatever doesn't fit in a restriction sometimes. So I can imagine I can slip this part out or maybe one scooter out or one, depending on how you organize the dive plan. But yeah, it's just very cool. And we have different widths for this platform. So you can put three stage bombs here and ah. drop them off in the cave as you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, James. So that's uh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Made to explore. Thank you so much for Thank your you, time, bro. and I'm um, looking forward to do something with DPVs in a foreseeable future, because I got tired of swimming, honestly. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in Mexico. Yes. Have a nice day. We keep going now. Okay. All right, guys. The next boot I want to show you is uh, Dark Scuba. Here is Colt, uh, one of the lead engineers in the company. And uh, what I'm really interested in, what they produce, other than all the mounts for the DPVs and other uh, uh, helmets and stuff like this, what I really like that they do is this uh, case, the reel. They've been so nice to give me one to try. And the reason why I'm interested to try this product, it's because uh, su supposedly, uh, supposedly it doesn't jam. It doesn't jam, so I'm gonna try to jam it. I'm gonna make a video trying to jam it as bad as possible and try to destroy it and uh, then I'm gonna tell Colt to give me another one. <laughs> no, anyway. Um, 
they've been so nice to give me one. I'm gonna make another video to see how this reacts underwater to deploy a lift bag or also in cave diving to make jumps and connections, okay? So, Colt, uh, thank you for uh, your gift and uh, we're gonna be in touch. And this was Dark Scuba. So, let's continue over there, guys. I uh, give you this bag because he already gave me one, so <laughs> let's try not to steal too much stuff. <laughs> So we are back where we started. Uh, to finish, I wanna give you a couple of details about the regulators that I used uh, and that I still use right now, not only for the records. I also give them to my students, by the way. Uh, now, what I like particularly about the regulators from uh, my friends in Bonassi is that you can open the second stage underwater very easily without having to remove a pin if there is any dirt seal that gets in and this is something uh, very important in cave diving where sometimes I really dip into the sediment all my regulators and if it is necessary you can open it. Obviously this is a peculiarity of this particular brand that's why I'm showing it to you. Now about the diaphragm balance regulators in general the advantage compared to the piston regulators always that's just my opinion is that there is no water coming into the regulator like when you have a piston the piston has all the little holes where um, the water gets into the ambient pressure and basically the stem and the piston are exposed to the the stem of the piston is exposed to the environment and sealed and i happen to have some of them that are gonna leak forever because the piston is scratched on the diaphragm instead, no, the water doesn't get be, uh, um, after the diaphragm, so all the inner parts work dry. So for, that's for me is an advantage. Now, that said, of course I thank them for giving me the equipment uh, for uh, all the dives that I had to do. I really hope that you enjoyed, uh, that you found useful, uh, uh, entertaining all the equipment that I show you around the Dima and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to turn on the notification to like all the videos to write comments so basically i'm giving you homeworks uh, and yeah watch all my videos all of them and i'll see you next time